Jay here. Today's beer review will be on. All right, tonight's beer review is on Ithaca's Flower Power. It's an IPA, and I know what you're saying. Jay, why is there a bottle of Sam Adams Noble Pills in front of you? Well, there's a good reason for that. I have said in the past that this is my favorite beer. And I believe me, I love this beer. I can drink it all day and all night. It's a great, easy drinking beer. But unfortunately, it's no longer my favorite. Sam, I'm sorry, you've been dethroned. This is now my new favorite beer. Um, I was fortunate enough to get a hold of a couple of these, uh, thanks to Matt, Ohio Beer. Um, check his channel out, um, Ohio Beer, Ohio-Beer.com. Um, and uh, he was fortunate enough to bring me a few of these. They are wonderful. Um, it's an IPA. <clears throat> there are so much hops in this beer. I can't even begin to describe it. And it's not a bitter kind of hop. It's just the flavor and the aroma. Um, which is one of the reasons I'm not going to provide a, a clone recipe for this beer. Um, this beer, I'm certain, is brewed with what's known as a hop bursting technique. Um, I've never done one. As a matter of fact, I planned on doing one this weekend, even before I tasted this beer, um, to get some kind of idea on, on what kind of flavor profiles it gives. And, and I'm going to do a video on that later on and discuss uh, hop bursting. But really, <clears throat> this Ithaca Power Hour, or P Flower Power, is um, just an amazing beer. Um, on their website, it's listed at 7.5 uh, ABV, and they list about seven different types of hops that are in this beer. Three different dry hopping uh, hops, and four, yeah, four hops that are uh, in the brew. Um, they are Simico, uh, Cascade, Anthium, and Centennial hops are used in the brewing, and it's dry hopped with Semco, Amarillo, and Chinook. Um, anyway, I tried to calculate the uh, approximate, what I think the IBUs are, which I can't find a, an accurate listing for, um, just came out way too high unless all of the hops were put in at 30 minutes or less, um, considering at least one ounce of all of those hops um, even that, 30 minutes at uh, one ounce of the four different varieties they list for their bittering came in at 91 IBU. So uh, it's a, it's a, and I don't think it's that bitter either. I, I think the bitterness is probably actually around 70 would be my guess. But anyway, they do list that they use honey malt, um, and that's the only malt that they list. Uh, honey malt has a love of bond right around 20, sometimes a little higher, sometimes a little lower. Um, so there has to be a base malt in there too because it's not that dark. Um, anyway, on with the tasting. We'll pour it and uh, actually give it a good review here. Um, I'll try to be unbiased, but really, this is my new favorite beer. Not that I could drink it all day and all night. I might be able to, but just for the, the wonderful flavor this beer has. Absolutely amazing. As you can see, it's got a nice dark golden color, um, wonderfully clear, as it should be. Um, nice head forming on there, hanging around just a little bit without being overdone. Certainly not over carbonated. Um, there's still some bubbles hanging around in there, but uh, not not a whole lot. So it's it's probably just about right. There's so many hop flavors and scents just floating out of this glass. Um, there's citrus, grapefruit, uh, maybe even a touch of pineapple, some pine. I mean, you name a, a hop smell or aroma, and it's in there. And it's really potent with the smell. Mm. I mean, it is substantially bitter. It's well balanced. Um, <clears throat> leaning towards the bitter side, but it's actually very well balanced. But all the hop flavor just just slams into you. I mean, it is... If you like hops, you're going to love this beer. If you don't like hops, because you find a bitter or, you know, something like that, you still might like this beer. I don't know that I can say anything bad about it. The smell 
wonderful. The taste. Oh, it's smooth. It uh, doesn't go down harsh. It doesn't finish too bitter. I mean, you know, there's some hops in there, but it, it leaves your mouth just dry enough you want another sip. I mean, truly a wonderful beer. If you can find it, I highly recommend this beer. If you can't, you know, hopefully you can get some Noble Pills. That's number two. Number two ain't too bad. Have a good night. Drink up.